Hello students, in this video we'll see the solution to the first problem of the quiz. In this problem, we're letting x be a random variable with moment generating function mx of t is 2 plus e to the t over 3 to the 18th power. We're asked to find the variance of x. If we recall that the variance of x is the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x quantity squared, we can use the moment generating function to find each of these moments. So recall that the nth, der the nth nth derivative of the moment generating function at the origin is the expected value of the random variable x to the power n. So if we need to find the second moment and the first moment, we can find the first and second derivatives. So for this function, if I do mx prime of t, that will be 18, and then 2 plus e to the t over 3 to the 17th power times the derivative of the function on the inside. And that will be 1 third times e to the t. Because I have an e to the t over 3, so this will simplify to 6 e to the t, and then 2 plus e to the t over 3 to the 17th power. If we plug in t equals 0 to this, we see that the expected value of x is equal to mx prime of 0, and that will be 6 e to the 0, and then 2 plus e to the 0 over 3 to the 17th power. Even though this looks messy, it simplifies just to 1 because I have 2 plus e to the 0, which is 1, so this is 3 over 3, which is 1. So the first moment is 6. Now we can compute the second moment by differentiating again. So if I look at mx double prime of t, it'll be 6, that factor says on the outside, the derivative of the first function, which is e to the t, times the second function, 2 plus e to the t over 3 to the 17th power, plus 6, common factor to both, then it's going to be the first function, e to the t, times the derivative of the second function, so that'll be 17 times 2 plus e to the t over 3 to the 16th power times, and then we'll have a e to the t over 3 factor. And so now what we can do is we can plug in 0 to this, so the expected value of x squared is mx double prime of 0. This first term over here is going to give me, when I plug in 0, this is going to give me a 6. Then we'll have a 6 over 3 is going to be a 2. So 6 over 3 is 2. And then 2 times 17 is 34. So that will give me a 34. And then this gives me a 40. And now what we need to do is we need to find the variance. So to find the variance, we compute the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x quantity squared. We just found the expected value of x squared to be 40. We found the expected value of x to be 6, so that's going to be 6 squared. So this is 40 minus 36, and that's equal to 4. So the variance of this random variable is 4. Alternatively, we could have solved this problem by noting that 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 e to the t is the moment generating function for y, which is the random variable which is 0 with probability 2 thirds, and 1 with probability 1 third. And so this is a Bernoulli random variable, and if I sum up 18 Bernoulli random variables, I get a binomial random variable. So the variance of a binomial random variable is n times p times q. So what we have over here is we have 18 times p times q, which also gives me 4. So we could have solved this problem quickly with the observation that this moment generating function is the moment generating function of a binomial random variable with n equals 8, p equals 2 thirds, and q equals 1 third. Thank you very much.